today's video, I'm going to show you a very simple little defense. It's going to help you get more stops in Madden 24. Really good for defending formations like bunch, bunch, strong offset, tight, really any kind of formation uh, that's good, honestly, in Madden. This uh, defense is going to do pretty good against it. And it's really just a concept. You can use it and do it out of any uh, defense that you want to run. We're going to be doing it out of the dollar three two formation in the uh, Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook. If you want to get my entire ebook on this defense, make sure you join the Patreon. Link is going to be in the description. It's only 10 bucks, and it gets you access to all of our ebooks, all of our updates, all of our full schemes, everything for just $10. The link is going to be down below. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually go into our coaching adjustments. As you can see here, we have our auto flip off. We have our auto alignment on base. And then the most important thing we're going to do here is we're going to put our flats on 30 and our curl flats on five. And then you can really leave your hook curls on default, put them on five. Or if you want them to play a little bit deeper, you can put them on 10 or 15. I like to just put them on uh, default. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be taking advantage of this uh, DB Fire 2 defense because it's kind of like a very good defense stock. So um, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to come out in it. We're going to just simply press our defense. We're going to back off both of these outside corners, and then we're going to purple both of these uh, blitzing defenders. From there, all we have to do is just blitz our user. I like to pinch my defensive line and crash them down. And if you stand right here, as you can see, I have this little green bar over my head. That is going to significantly help this defense. If you're back here, it's not going to shed properly. So I really like to get down uh, kind of closer to the line of scrimmage so that I have that bar above my head. That will allow me to get better sheds. Now, I want to explain why this defense is as good as it is. This defense is known as the double Mabel coverage, and it's essentially a zone bracket on both sides of the field. So essentially what we're having is this guy's going to take this underneath sideline. This guy's going to take this kind of intermediate to deep sideline. And then this guy's going to take anything over top. And you have that on both sides. And if you think about most route combos in Madden, most of those route combos are trying to basically create high lows on the sidelines. Let me give you a couple of different examples. Um, the verticals concept that everyone likes to run out of Durham right now, pretty much something like this. This would guard this really well because all you have to do is basically use the post until he gets to the 30 yard cloud. Another popular concept in Madden for the last couple of years has basically been um, a, what I call a cross concept where essentially we have a crosser, we have an underneath either out route or flat route of some type, and then we have a backside in route to kind of check down to. In this example, again, all you would have to do is you would have to just use her the underneath. Um, and then probably the most famous route combination in Madden every single year is the sail concept or the flood concept. And if you take a look at this, again, it's a three-level flood to the right. Well, we have three defenders to the sideline that are going to be able to, hand to handle that. So traditionally, the only combo that you really are going to have to worry about, honestly, is a really good what I would call a triangle read where essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to use a triangle triangular passing approach so um, you know it might look something like this but even in this even in this combo right here all I have to do from a user perspective is user the hitch back to the post and I'm in a pretty good spot so this defense is a bend but don't break defense by design, and it actually takes away a lot of stuff that people like to use. So uh, let me show you kind of practically, and we'll actually run a play here. Uh, but essentially all you gotta do is set it up is just press, back off both your outside corners, uh, purple both of your slot corners, blitz your user, and then that's pretty much it. Just have the green bar over your head, but I like to pinch and crash in to help with run defense. And if you wanted to, you could shade underneath before you purple those slot corners. And what that would do is it would make that vertical hook play a little bit more underneath. So let's show you this against kind of the most famous route combination in Madden every single year, which is basically a flood concept. So what you're going to see here and how is your user going to lurk here? Well, all we're looking for is we're just kind of looking for this underneath stuff. So we're just looking underneath here. We'll take that. And as you see, we get a pretty quick shed, which is the beauty of three-man pass rushes this year. I actually think three-man pass rushes are really – most people are underrated uh, or have, have really under undersold how good the three-man rush is in this game. But anyways, as you can see, we're able to cover everything to the right side of the field. That running back's running himself into that flat defender, and then we are basically able to robot back to the in route. 
I think this defense, honestly, at the beginning of the year, a lot of people was, um, you know, really gassing this up and saying this is one of the better defenses in the game. And then as kind of the game developed and people just learned more stuff, I just think people forgot how good this defense is. And, and this is a defense that, I mean, even I struggle with myself because it's hard to consistently um, beat these zone drops. It really is. If you get good sheds, it's a really good defense. Now, I did want to talk about some abilities that I think make this defense significantly better. So uh, what you'll see here, if we get this comment, we're just going to go from there to there and as you can see um, the only thing they can really do is hit us up the middle with the seam pass to the running back so again this is a very popular meta route combo uh, but what you're going to see is we're actually able to play this really well now they would probably want to throw the ball kind of right in this little window right here so uh, this kind of goes to my next point about abilities and where you want to put people my recommendation is to have deep in zone KO. I actually like mid zone KO if you could get it. Um, I don't really feel like you need deep out zone knockout on this, honestly, um, even though the Bills do have it in regs. So what I would do if I was running this, if I was running this defense, I would put deep in zone KO and mid zone KO right here because what that's going to allow these safeties to basically do for you is they will literally, um, they will just be able to handle those seam streaks. Uh, because they'll be able to basically catch, uh, catch, tackle them and knock them out. And they'll also, uh, with deep end zone KO, what a lot of people like to do as well is they like to try to maybe do a combo uh, like what you see on your screen here to try to essentially, you know, thread the needle up the middle of the field. So you'll see here with, with deep with deep end zone KO, I've got a pretty good chance of knocking that out, but with not without a deep end zone KO, it's, it's much easier to complete this pass. So um, that, those are some of the tips that I would give you just in terms of abilities. I really think um, I really think the, the key to a good double Mabel coverage, one, of course, is sheds. I think another key that a lot of people are kind of not talking about uh, just in terms of being a really, really good key is to actually mix up your zone drops, um, specifically those outside cloud flat defenders because if you're not careful, what's going to happen is they're going to run, and I'll show it actually, they're going to run a combo like this. If you're playing somebody that kind of knows what they're doing uh, on offense, they are going to run a combo that essentially is going to take advantage of your zone drops because this corner round is going to get underneath it. So this is known as the big corner, little corner concept, one of the best plays this year. What you'll see is this short corner you see how it kind of gets underneath there. Now, that guy actually drove on the ball pretty well. I didn't have a great free form, but suffice to say, it's going to get underneath of that uh, of that zone drop. So one of the things that I like to do uh, with these uh, with this little defense here is actually drop these back to like 15, maybe even 10 yards. And, and then I'll show you one last thing you can do with this as well to kind of mix up your defense. So, you know, we're going to go this, and then what we're going to do is – we're going to drop these curl flats uh, back. Now, the cool part about this is this um, deep half, they're going to assume that this corner route is covered. Now, it's probably going to be open here, um, and there's ways we could kind of get around that. We could man up that corner route. Um, there's, there's ways we could defend that. But what you'll see here to the right side is that 15-yard cloud is going to be able to play that. Now, this isn't a situation where you might want to have deep out zone KO because this guy could drive on that outside corner, and he could actually make a play on it. The last thing I want to show you that I actually really like to do occasionally um, and really situationally is I'll actually put everything back on default and we'll come out in DB Fire 2. And this is very situational play call, but it is a pretty good one. It is You're going to kind of pick and choose your spot. So we're going to make it look exactly the same. So we're going to press, shade out, shade underneath, back off both of these guys. We're going to pinch our defensive line and then we're actually not going to put those purple zones out there. So you see, this is kind of what the play art is going to look like. And so they might think, okay, you know, and, 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 and honestly, if you wanted to, another thing, you could cloud that uh, defender on the right. You could recloud him. The shaded down vert hook will defend the flats well. So if they're running a combo like this, if you take a look here, they're not going to have time um, because you got a nice little sin five pressure here. It's really hard to get that corner out open in time to be able to beat this defense. So this is kind of how you can uh, really scheme behind the double Mabel defensive approach. And I think just, you know, put yourself in position to, you know, get a, get a stop. So really like this old defense here. I think that a lot of people are still sleeping on the fact that the double Mabel coverage is probably, um, it's just one of those defenses that's hard to, consistently beat and the beauty of this defense is also 
just in the fact that um, it's fairly simple to set up. You know, all you got to do is basically hard flat here, or you could shade down and re-soft squat on the outside. And if they're trying to hit you with this little flood concept, you've got a really good chance of that guy actually taking that, taking that uh, receiving threat away. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, join the Patreon. That's where you get access to all of my offensive and defensive eBooks. I guarantee you that those eBooks are going to help you become a better Madden player. Thanks for watching the video. To sign up for the eBooks, head down to the description and click the link down below.